Average gas prices in California now below $5 a gallon. That is still up 28 cents from a year ago, but down almost $1.50 from its record in June. Today, though, appearing before the California Energy Commission, consumer watchdogs testified that the state's biggest oil refiners doubled their profits during the recent gas price spike. Those refiners also reporting 30% greater profits in California during 2022 than from anywhere else in the country or the world. Jenny Satter discussed, you just saw him there, one of those watchdogs, Jamie Court, the president of consumerwatchdog.org. Jamie, thanks for being with us. Uh, real bottom line, what was your main message today in terms of how big those profits are and, and whether we're being ripped off? Well, these are unprecedented profits. Uh, windfall profits like have never been uh, visited on Californians. We're talking about profits that have doubled from the historical average for the five oil refiners that report their profits. And uh, we've also seen these profits, as uh, was said a little earlier, go up 30% uh, more than profits for the same oil refiners in anywhere else in the nation or the world. So these are huge profits. The four oil refiners quadrupled their profits in the first uh, three quarters, uh, first three months uh, first three quarters of this year, they they went from $17 billion last year to $67 billion this year, quadrupled their profits. So it's no, there's no question that we have windfall profits. The question now is whether the oil companies are going to have to give them back because the governor is uh, due to have a special session next week where he's uh, going to uh, hopefully introduce legislation that says there's going to be a cap or should be a cap on how much oil companies can make in profits. Uh, and we have some ideas for what that profit cap should look like. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit more about that. What are you hearing about that special session that you say is scheduled to happen as soon as next week? Do they have the votes to pass it? But, Jamie, before you answer that, uh, the governor actually posted on Twitter, we want to show this to you today, because you were there, you presented to the Energy Commission, and the governor put out a tweet saying that oil companies experienced record profits this year while you paid record prices at the pump, and then he showed this video, and these are where those oil execs should be seated, but in other words, they weren't there, they didn't show up, Jamie. So what are you hearing about the special session, and do they have the votes to pass? Well, the oil refiners couldn't show up because how could they possibly justify these profits? I mean, profits that are double, uh, more than they've made in 20 years, a lot more than they've ever made in 20 years. So they couldn't show up because they didn't have anything to say. But we are understanding that the legislature is interested in this windfall profits cap. And I'm hoping that um, that the legislature will will go for it. One big obstacle would be whether the cap is actually a tax or not, we think it's not going to be a tax because if you just put a cap on how much companies can make and say if they charge any more than a, if they make any more than a certain amount, that money's got to go back to the consumers. So there'd be like a price gouging rebate then that is not a tax and that is a majority vote bill. If this bill is a majority vote bill, we should have the votes in a democratic legislature to pass this. Uh, we've We've seen uh, we've seen polling that shows 60 percent uh, of Californians support a windfall profits cap, more than 60 percent, 60 percent after they're given the opposition arguments. It's going to be a hard proposition for legislators to turn away from. And if it's a majority vote bill, I, I think we can get this done. I think we get this done in the next three months. Uh, the special sessions usually run about three months. So just to make clear why that matters, and now we're sort of in the weeds, is that if something is considered a tax, right, you need two-thirds two -thirds. of the legislature, yeah, which exactly. is a higher bar, which is harder to get, especially if some of those legislators are, I don't know, receive a lot of money from the oil companies who are going to say, don't pay for it. But if you got to hit the majority, it might be an easier thing to do with people that may not have as much in terms of donations from the oil companies, right? Absolutely. And a lot of legislators in Sacramento have turned away from oil money. But when the after the governor announced a windfall profits proposal, he says, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do a special session. Then the oil refiners in the state actually dumped six million dollars into legislative races to elect legislators friendly to them. Uh, either as retribution or to, to to stack the deck so they didn't have someone who who would be against them uh, and that money sticks out like a sore thumb so i think i think we've got the votes 
and I think we've got a, a decent proposal, and we'll find out next week what the governor is going to do. But he has said he is going to call a session for Monday, uh, and the special session uh, would be where the legislature has to deliberate on this proposal. And so I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really uh, anxious to see what the proposal is, and I'm anxious to uh, have our, our day in, in, in Sacramento, and I'm anxious to get money back for people. We calculated the windfall profits yep. for the four oil refiners this year. There's over $2 billion. Ooh. So there's a lot of money we get back to people. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we appreciate you. I know you're going to stay on it. We will have you back. Uh, Jamie Court from Consumer Watchdog, thanks so much. Thank you.